DirectX 12 and a brand new Game of the Year edition have now been confirmed for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This huge update will be coming on the 19th of November and will feature a bunch of new content. Perhaps most importantly, this update will be free for everyone and is coming to both consoles and PC on the same date. But what does it include specifically? Well, here's a quick list and then I will go into detail on each of them. The Game of the Year update then will include DirectX 12 support, 8 new photogrammetry cities, 14 new tutorials, 5 new planes, 6 new discovery flight missions, an updated weather system, as well as a dev mode replay system. Here's that breakdown. Firstly, let's take a look at the new planes. But just before we get to that, I think it's important to mention that Microsoft unfortunately haven't released any uh, footage or screenshots of any of these planes or indeed any of the other aspects of the uh, update so we're going to have to wait to see exactly what they look like but meanwhile we can certainly uh, talk about the details the big standout plane at least for me is the first official fighter jet from Microsoft this will be the FA-18 Super Hornet and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how well this one is implemented also come in is the PC-6 Porter this is an aircraft from Switzerland that has been designed as a short takeoff and landing plane. The Volo City is another addition. This is a working version of a prototype aircraft. It's a drone style of vehicle that is capable of pinpoint landings, so this should be a very interesting to try out. The other two new planes will be the NX Cub and the Aviat Pitts Special S1S. Moving on, the console versions of the Sim already run on DirectX 12, but the PC version meanwhile will finally be getting DirectX 12 support on the 19th of November with this update. Now in the past I've seen a few comments asking what exactly is DirectX? Well in simple terms let's go into some detail there, it is an API that's an application a programming interface which allows a software to access the hardware inside a PC or in fact indeed inside a console as well. This covers all hardware from the CPU to memory to graphics cards. Each version of DirectX improves upon the last, giving software access to better features and sometimes improved performance as well. For Microsoft Flight Simulator, it doesn't necessarily mean improved performance, although it could well bring some of that. What it does mean, however, is that the sim should be able to access modern hardware in a more efficient manner. It also means that new graphics technology like ray tracing can be used. Now in the past, Microsoft have hinted that ray tracing will come to the sim with DirectX 12, however, there hasn't been any recent confirmation of that just yet, so that's something we're going to have to wait and see on, I think. Either way, a new DirectX update is a significant step for the sim. When it launches on the 19th of November, simmers will be given the option to launch either the DirectX 11 edition of the sim, that's the current version, or to use the new DirectX 12 version. This means if you have any issues with the new version, you can instead continue to use the current version until the problems are ironed out. So those eight new airports, these are going to be high detailed airports. Two of these include military sites, which should be well suited to the addition of the FA-18. These include then the Patrick Space Force Base and the Marine Corps Air Station Merrimar, both of course in the USA. There will also be three new airports in Germany and three further new airports in Switzerland. There's a list on the screen right here. Now it seems that the Game of the Year update would also, in a small way at least, also be treated in part as a world update. It comes with eight new photogrammetry cities. The UK will be gaining a selection of these as the updated cities include Brighton, Derby, Eastbourne, Newcastle and Nottingham. Elsewhere, Helsinki and Finland will be getting an update and both Germany and the Netherlands will also be getting an updated city as well. Uh, again, a list on the screen right there. On the subject of the new tutorials, there will be 14 of these. These will cover IFR. For those of you new to simming, IFR is short for Instrument Flight Rules and is a way of flying an airplane purely based on reading instruments. It's an important skill to have as IFR is essential for flying airliners and indeed all aspects of civil aviation. The new tutorials will also cover bush flying, and considering how many bush trips are now in Microsoft Flight Simulator, a dedicated tutorial on this, back to the, this aspect of the sim is certainly most welcome. 
And finally, Microsoft mentioned an updated weather system. However, there's no details on how extensive this will be. It is of course well known that live weather needs a fair bit of work, so hopefully it will include some improvements for that. And then there's the long-awaited action replay system. It does seem that Microsoft have chosen to go with a dev mode implementation of this, and in a previous Q&A, they stated that their internal action replay system is certainly good at doing its job, but doesn't have a full end user UI ready. They said rather than waiting on the final UI, they would rather get a version of the action replay system into people's hands now. So it looks like that's the option they've gone with, and we can expect to see that in the Game of the Year edition. So all of that coming on the 19th of November. Do let me know what your most anticipated feature of all of that is in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.